They say that the women in New York are the most beautiful women in the world. And then there's the occasional familiar face. Carrie? All five foot ten of her. Hey! Hi, Natasha. That looks uh, nice, that, um, what you have on there. You think? Yeah, I, uh, need something for this women in the arts luncheon. I helped organize them on the steering committee, so. Oh, really? I'm a member. Because, you know, I write, so I am a woman in the arts. I, I go to that lunch every year. In clothes. <laughs> Great. I'll see you there. All right. Great. I need these. Now, the heels are almost high enough to put me face to face with Natasha. I thought you didn't have a complex about how you look to other women. Oh, no. It's not a complex. It's a Natasha specific obsession, which will be over as soon as she sees me looking fabulous in these shoes and this dress I saw at Bergdorf's that's going to cost me a month's rent. Oh, listen to you. You don't have to prove anything. You are stunning and intelligent and funny. You could go to that luncheon wearing what you're wearing right now and still be the most incredible woman in the room. Wow. I heard about your marriage. And it's... I fell in love with you, and I'm sorry that I pretended to ignore it for as long as I did. You are? <sighs> and just like that... news read it and weep my friends i'm sorry i can't don't hate me aka leave in the middle of the night i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry too but carrie everything happens for a reason e even if you don't know what it is yet that's such bullshit jesus you know she's shiny hair style section Vera Wang, and I'm, you know, the sex column they run next to ads for penile implants. 